This afternoon we're going to attempt to stop a snorkel on Mates D-Max. Could turn out interesting. What are we doing? Putting a snorkel on a hit with minimal idea. <laughs> Just trimming up the template so it sits pretty flush without all that excess shit hanging over to get in the way. Got enough going to get Mr. Scissor. See if we can make something out of these instructions. Taping her all up just to cover as much of the paint as possible. Another one, if you're gonna grind it, cover the whole car. As soon as you grind, and grinding dust gets, or sparks, gets on your paint, a few months later it'll be rust everywhere. Pro tip. Speaking from my old patrol. Pro tips. A lot of what's to do and what not to do. I'm gonna come out of this video. Just tracing the cutout. And lift that template off. Cut to us, measure one. It's an old thing, isn't it? We'll see. Make it a bit better to hear. Coming in a later video. To be installed. Get those shitty little clips out. Mm. This is the only reason you buy Fat Bars products. It is for the stubby cooler and the sticker. 45 minutes later, we got all these little down screws out, holding this fucking thing in. <laughs> On to the next. You get that? Dog out. That's mounted like a fuck. Come, here, watch out. In one step, we'll get to that here. Get this out, it should be right. Start. What's this cheeky little thing? Care to explain? That gets rid of my EGR. Can't be legal. This is fucking lose that shit. What's it going on? That's dodgy. If Isn't I've it? ever seen dodgy. Now I'm getting in there. I'm doing that. It's a thought that counts. Yeah, fuck it. Right size eventually. Close enough, it's good enough. Sometimes you gotta work with the length you've got. Not about the size of the dog in the fight, about the size of the fight in the dog. True words. <sighs> Close, but no cigar. Yeah. So after you get them pin and those bolts out, this thing somehow managed to swivel out. So unplug that, and on there, you've got to remove that. Whatever that is. And that should just stay there. So we won't have to remove that first. It should just pop straight out. So there's a nut up in there. And there's another one that holds this on. And it just pops right out. Mm. So the other 
So for the D-Max airboxes, these just pop clean out. Unlike the Hilux, you have to chop it with a grinder. And these pieces just slot straight over top, screw down and sick of flex on the inside and out to get you that good seal so no water gets in there. That's the plan anyway. Slots on nice. Throw them four screws in and slap another bead around the outside. Should lock it off. Pretty good. So we've gone with a pneumatic saw, just a bit tidier, cleaner cut than a die grinder or just a hole saw and tin snips, but we've never put one together, so I don't have much of an idea of what we're doing. Just fits in well with the whole install, I guess. Quick um, connection change out. One that come with it, didn't fit into the hose. We got so tax one off another clip. Should be enough. So let's see what happened. That's it, it's a bit off, but we'll, we'll make that work. Just sit, sit that over as a template and then draw around it. So you have a bit of an idea how much you have to cut out make without it. hitting that cord. Make it a little bit <laughs> uh, more centered than that, but anyway. Once you've cut the hole out, to be big enough to fit this bit of pipe through. Three pinch mold just to cover up all them sharp edges. And then, and then it should just slot straight in. Should look like that. Once you got the pinch mold on it, it should sit in there. Nice and snug. A bit of access, but it doesn't matter too much. You get filled with both sides of that pipe on it. Quick blade change over. Get into the fun bit. Mm. The bit no turning back from. Fucking hole in the guard already, so anyway. Well, I wouldn't recommend this thing, but anyway. Piece of shit. Don't recommend the Bunning pneumatic saw. Dog shit. But oh, okay. that, honestly, it's probably the operators never used one before, but it's the thought we can. But we got there. Saves the time. Hopefully it fits from the original template. Probably not with my cutting skills. The moment of truth. A bit tight. Yeah, thought you might have to cut a bit more out. Um, better than having not enough and too much. Fucking so close, but yeah. Mm. A little bit more and should be sweet. Don't have a paintbrush or anything. Just spray it into the lid and then just dab it on with whatever you got. Just a bit of mm -hmm. foam that, we, that come with a snorkel. Say it's trying to spray it and get it all over your car. Just prevents it from rusting. Closes off the metal. No water and shit can get into it. If you have any bits of paint, wouldn't worry too much about it. Pinch weld will cover most of that up. So you won't see it. Either way, once that pinch weld's on, can't see any of that excess paint, covers it up nicely. Perfect. Let me just do a put a bead of Sigaflex on the pillar so when you screw it down, water doesn't get into the hole and fill her up. Back down.
Ideally, we would have used flax to get flax, but uh, this was the best we got. Zero in, wipe that excess off, and good to go. Just nip it up with a screwdriver so you don't strip it. Just to make sure. So, a hot tip is to follow the instructions and put that pipe on before you put the snorkel in and bolt it down. <laughs> it makes life a bit easier trying to get it through and on. So apparently, not yes. only can I not read, I don't look at pictures. Just trying to see if we can get that on. See if she all lines up. If you've got a catch can, you might have to temporarily remove it. Seeing this piece of steel sticks out more than the stock, just to give you a bit more room to try and line it all up. Took a bit of persuasion, but managed to get her all in. All the nuts are in. Catch key. 